towards the one, the perfection of love, harmony and beauty, the only being united with all the illuminated souls who form the embodiment of the Master, the Spirit of Guidance. The Singing Wasifas are a collection of musical miniatures composed by Murshid Hidayat Anayat Khan with the intention of making the practice of wasifa more generally available. Hidayat gave each wasifa a unique musical setting as well as suggested visualizations and concentrations. These orchestrations were then performed, recorded, and made freely available to any interested individuals or groups. However, before there were wazifas, there was the singing zikr, or to use its full title, the gentle singing zikr of Hazrat Anayat Khan. Hidayat created the composition and the musical arrangement of Murshid's personal zikr in the early 1980s. I had the privilege of working closely with Hidayat in the development of the singing zikr and the wasifas that are now available from various online sources, including the Sufi Circle Canada's website. When I first met Murshid Hidayat in what was probably 1980, I felt an immediate musical and spiritual connection. At that time, he wanted to reintroduce the melody his father had composed for the zikr into the practices of the international Sufi movement. In this, he faced many challenges. In those days, Hidayat did quite a lot of traveling. He would be in South America, Mexico, San Francisco. He was all over the world trying to get people to practice the zikr. Of course, this meant that he needed some way to present the melody. So he had this idea. He made a cassette recording of himself playing the melody on the piano while singing the words of the zikr, and then made copies and sent it around. Now, he was not a great singer, I think he would have admitted that. And as he no longer played his violin, that was not an option. That was when I thought perhaps I could be of some help. And in fact, I did team up with Akbar Lodi Keegan, a fellow musician, and we produced a couple of recordings of the full 45-minute zikr practice. Hidayat was not particularly impressed with these early attempts, but saw the possibility such a recording might offer. After the final version of the singing zikr was produced in 1985, he turned his attention to using the same approach for the wazifas. From 1990 to 2001, Hidayat and I spent several days before the annual Sufi retreat at Lake O'Hara producing the original 15 compositional miniatures in the Singing Wasifa collection. From 2002 to around 2012, we worked over the internet using Skype and email to produce the remaining recordings. These orchestrated compositions are unique, drawing on Hidayat's inspiration to present the essential character 
of each individual wazifa. Now we're going to take a look at what are the singing wazifas and how are they used. Let's first listen to a sampling of some of the collection. Here's Yafata. Ya Nur 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 Ya Ya Shafi Ya Kafi Ya Shafi Ya Kafi Allahu Allah Ya Shafi Ya Kafi Allahu Allah Ya Shafi Ya Kafi Ya Shafi Ya Kafi And Ya Wahabo. Ya Wahabo Allah. Allah 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 There are 22 recordings in the Singing Wazifas collection. Most are based on the 99 names of Allah and are intended to be used as guides for individual or group practice. There are three general categories that wazifas could be placed in. Wazifas practice for the accomplishment of affairs, for personal development, or for spiritual attainment. The practice is done seated with eyes closed and lasts about 10 minutes. Each wazifa has its own unique musical setting with recorded singers providing a guide track. I have chosen Ishkala Mabudala for demonstration purposes and at the end of the presentation we will all perform a shortened version. Along with the music, there are concentrations and visualizations that could be considered while repeating the wazifa. It could be a purpose, the meaning of the words, the quality or atmosphere experienced, 
one of the five elements, a concentration on a particular chakra which is located on the head, a related color, and occasionally a visualization. In the case of Ishkala Mabudala, the purpose is to seek love. The meaning is God is love, lover and beloved. The quality is radiance. The element is fire. The concentration is focused on the center of the forehead and the color is red. In practice, most participants will choose the color and chakra concentrations while singing. There are actually three vocal parts in Ishkala Mabudala. The main melody, a high part, and a low part. This is what they sound like by themselves. First, the main melody, which is sung by both men and women. Ishkala Mabudala 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 The low or bass part Allahu 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 And the high or soprano part And just a final note, as many of you might know, I am a big fan of improvisation, but it is best not to try to improvise additional vocal parts in these practices. The compositions are very tightly arranged, and the experience is best served by following the given parts. Let's try singing Ishkala Mabudala. You will hear a short bit of music before the main melody begins. I would suggest you sing the main melody with either the male voice or the female voice. Just start singing when you feel comfortable. The Wadzifa ends with the sound of a bell, after which the music slows down and stops. We will then have a short moment of silence. Let's begin. Ishkala Mabudala 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 Ishkala Mabudala
Amen. The singing wasifas are most easily found at the Sufi Movement in Canada.ca website in the Practices section. Thank you for taking part 
and I hope you found it enlightening and informative.